In this video, we're going to continue our work with the equation of a circle and look at questions involving tangents. I'm going to quickly sketch up a circle and a tangent. So here's our circle, and then we'll have a tangent, and we know that the tangent is going to touch the circle at one point. I'm now going to add a radius, and we know that the radius will be at a 90 degree right angle with the tangent. So let's go ahead and just put that on. So if we said now that the centre of a circle, let's call this point now x, let's call this point b, and let's call this point a, we could say now that the angle abx was a 90 degree right angle. Or, if you like, we could say the line ab and the line bx are going to be perpendicular. So let's consider now the gradient of these two lines. We know if they're perpendicular, the product of their gradients will be equal to minus 1. So in general, we can say m1 multiplied by m2 will be equal to minus 1 if perpendicular. So from that, we can say that the gradient of this line, and I'll just say that that will be mxb multiplied by the gradient of now the tangent, which is going to be ab. We can say mab will be equal to minus 1 as these are perpendicular. So let's look at an example of that. Let's say now that the gradient of xb, let's say that mxb was going to be equal to 2. Therefore, what we could say is that mab was the negative reciprocal, and that would be minus 1 half. So that's just an example right there. All we're looking at now is the two gradients, and we multiply them to get minus 1. We're going to use this property throughout a range of different questions involving tangents. So you're just looking to say now that this line is at right angles, 